Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please remember to do so now. If you haven't watched our most recent podcast with Ashley, go and check it out. I'll put it up in the corner here somewhere. Um, so basically, Ashley is the owner of Eco Express Dry Clean and Formby. The main reason for the podcast was to try and tell you guys like why it's so important to dry clean your designer stuff. Like designers items are really expensive and you need to keep on top of them and putting them in your own washing machine with your own wash. It's not a good way of keeping, basically getting the most out of your designer wear. If you dry clean them, it's doing it properly. If you put them in the wash, there is so much room for error and you can damage them really, really badly, especially with coats. Also, he's dead into designer, so all we speak about really throughout the podcast is a lot about designer. He speaks about his best investments, he speaks about his most expensive purchases, he speaks about his worst purchases. Yeah, so go and listen to that. What we're going to be doing in this video, and it's the first ever product of this brand to feature on the channel, and it's the Burberry Czech Regis sneaker. I think that's how you say it. But to be honest, I think these are one of the most underrated chunky shoes. We get loads of Alexander McQueen's in, we get loads of Balenciaga Triple S in. This is the first ever one of these that we've got in. And that just shows that they're not that popular. But I don't know why, because they are one of the best shoes I would say we've had in. They're just different because a lot of people don't have them in. I think that's why I like them because I've seen them and we don't see them that often. It's just something different to look at. But anyway, onto the review of the shoe. We'll start with the midsole, just because that's where I always like to start. And it's got this big, thick, chunky rubber midsole, and it's two and a half inches. So it's a little bit smaller than your Triple S, but a little bit bigger than your Alexander McQueen. It's made, like I said, of this rubber. So the good thing about this is if you're scared of getting them dirty, don't be, because it's a rubber, it easily wipes off. So even if you do get it dirty, it's fine. Flipping it onto the outer sole, you've got Burberry branding on the back. You've got three different sections, I would say. You've got the heel, and then it breaks off to the center, and then you've got this front bit. Moving on to the upper, it's 99% cotton and 1% leather, and it's in the Burberry print. But the cool thing I like about this is that they can differ. So you could have the exact same shoe as someone. So someone else could have this shoe, but it wouldn't be the same print. And I really like that because similar to the Valentino camo prints, that's the same. No one has the exact same print as each other. So it's, I reckon it's cool the way you can have the exact same shoe as someone, but it wouldn't be the exact same shoe, if you get what I mean. Something that's very different on this shoe is the strap. So it's a Velcro strap with baby branding on the front and then you've got these four lines here. I think the four lines are basically just for design because otherwise it would just be a bit boring having just like this plain Burberry on it. To be honest, it doesn't really add to the tightness or anything of the shoe. It's just for design. The shoe itself is really comfy. I would recommend going down a full size. They used to be, when they first came out about two years ago, £430, but as designer shoes get a bit more popular, the prices of them do tend to rise. And now they are £490. They're basically the middle shoe from the Alexander McQueen to the Balenciaga Triple S. The Alexander McQueen's are 390, Balenciaga Triple S go up to about 690. These are smack bang in the middle at 490. And I would say that's a fair price for them. Like I said, they're really underrated. You don't see a lot of people with them and the design of them. It's just different. These will be on our website on Friday, so don't miss the drop for them. 3 p.m., turn your post notifications on. Make sure you're on the website for that time. Let me know in the comment section what you think of these. Like I said, they're really different. They're not majorly pricey. There's just something about this shoe that I really like. Remember to hit that subscribe button. We'll be back really soon with another review, and I'll see you next time.